right, so welcome everybody. This is my first live broadcast, first real live broadcast. I tested this a um, couple weeks ago maybe, and I just kind of did it at night, and it was it was just basically testing this software because I've never used this software before. So I thought I might as well put together a, um, a kind of real live broadcast to cover a topic. And so I posted this photo. I wanted to kind of show you guys this. So I posted this photo on the Picture Monk Nation Facebook page. I put that on there and there's been a lot of response for it and um, uh, Michael Halloran on the page, he actually said, why don't you do a tutorial? So I would love to do it, do a tutorial on this photo. However, that would be, be me making this photo over again and I don't really want to do that. Um, no offense, I just don't I don't. This took me 20 days, or roughly 20 days, to do. So I just didn't want to uh, do all of this over again. But what I thought I could do is actually just show you all of the layers in Photoshop and show you kind of what I did, talk through what happened, and you know, I'm by no means a expert in compositing, but this was kind of my first try. So I wanted to kind of go over that and kind of some of the stuff that I learned. So here are the layers here and in these groups over here we have all of the layers that are in these groups and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to deactivate all of these and so this was the first image that I started out with and uh, I'm going to I'm going to take me away here just for a second um, but this is just the image that I started out with uh, this all of these are stock images by the way um, I don't, none of these I actually took myself and I'm getting to that point where I want to start taking more myself and then using my own photos to composite so this was a a first time thing so I might as well use stock photos so uh, the first thing I did was I wanted to kind of change the color of the the uh, water here and I didn't know exactly what color I wanted to go in but I know I wanted it to be sort of uh, sort of monochromatic mono monotone so I took a little bit of the color out of the photo and gave it this had a little bit more blue in in the photo but I took a little bit of the blue out and kind of gave it a little bit more yellow to kind of balance it out and so that was what that color balance layer here and I did I did my best to try to label all of these layers, and uh, I hope I got them right. Because normally I don't, uh, I don't layer, uh, I don't label my layers. So this had to be me going back after the fact and labeling them. So uh, here is the the boat, uh, the actual main boat. And I started out with a zero idea of what I wanted to do, but I figured, hey, it's water, might as well put a boat in there. So I I put this image of the boat in there. Uh, and it actually highlighted the whole layer, so I'm going to take away these. Uh, so uh, I put this image in there first, and obviously it doesn't look exactly like it should be in there because I, I had to put a layer mask on there and take away some of the boat. Uh, but I put a small shadow under the boat. Uh, shadow probably wasn't the the most accurate because it's kind of a the overall image is kind of a cloudy day, so there really wouldn't be much shadow. Uh, but to to kind of blend it in there a little bit, I did that. I applied a curves layer to the boat to try to make it blend in because it was a little bit, a little bit saturated, a little bit too, too uh, crisp black and white. So I just kind of gave it a curves layer to kind of darken parts of that down. Um, and then I don't honestly know what some of these layers are because I didn't label each individual layer. But this was me getting rid of the uh, the name that was on the boat and kind of blurring it out a little bit and uh, kind of trying to blend it in a little bit and I gave it the name Sail Away and uh, so that's the name of the, the, the piece so I put uh, Sail Away on the boat so that was the main boat and taking that away taking it and putting that back on you can kinda see that it kinda it does kinda blend in a little bit more and so there was a a mountain in the background uh, sort of like some Game of Thrones looking thing and so I put that back there again this was a stock image and if I were to disable this layer mask uh, let's see yeah, this was blended in back there, so this kind of takes up pretty much the whole background, just like that. Um, so I kind of positioned that over here because I knew I wanted something in this area, and since this image had natural uh, natural fog in it, um, I left um, I left the fog, and I thought I, you know I'm gonna add fog eventually, so I might as well uh, do that. So let me bring back my layer mask. So that was it for the main background part of the the image back there. So now we have uh, back fog is what I called it. I don't even know if that's a correct term, but <laughs> I created more fog back here, and I also added 
this guy over here, you can see uh, over there, there's another group in here. And this is a, a lighthouse. Um, and I don't have the the particular image that I used, but this was actually a lighthouse with like people walking in the back. Um, and, and the way I wanted to do this is I wanted it to be faded back there, but I also wanted to not have to put a lot of detail into making this part of it. Because if I were to take, if I were to try to take some of these off, so there's the splash that I added. Uh, so you can see that there's people sitting around here, um, and I didn't actually want to go into each individual pixel and cut out the railing, uh, the space between the railing to try to match the sky. So that's why I faked it a little bit with kind of blurring it and um, and, and adding the, the uh, water spray coming up and uh, kind of just putting the fog over it. That kind of helps a little bit. So that was adding the fog um, and adding the water splash back. It looks kind of kind of strange a little bit uh, now that I'm seeing it. I probably could have lowered the opacity of this this uh, black part. It's already lowered pretty pretty good, so maybe take it up to there. But uh, I'm still happy with the final result. So uh, that was the main back area. Uh, this was the guy that was sitting in there. Honestly, this was this was a photo that was that I kind of stumbled on. Uh, by accident because I uh, I was I didn't know what I wanted to put in the boat I figured there needed to be something in there and so I was just looking through a bunch of stock images and I found uh, a guy sitting in a field and uh, I was like well he looks he's he's sitting down he's kneeling down so I mean it looks like maybe he's sitting on a, a seat in the boat so it actually worked out pretty good so here is the uh, so if I can go back to the original was this the original so that was the guy. Let me try to deactivate this layer mask. So yeah, that was the guy in the field. And so I had to take care of some of these leaves that are that are there. So I had to, had to cut him out um, and take care of these leaves. So let me re-enable that. So that was him. And uh, this was just like taking out some of those leaves that were popping up. And then I had to do some color correction to them to try to get them to match a little bit, to darken them down, take away some of the saturation that was naturally in the in this clothes. So that was a that was a little work there. Um, and then there was a branch sticking up there, and I just had to kind of clone out his shirt and his hand. Uh, so naturally, the the image kind of matched up a little bit, so that that actually worked pretty well. Um, and so that was the guy. So I'm going to stop right here. Uh, I know there's only like three people watching which is fine because <laughs> this is my first one but if you guys have any questions about this let me know i'm going to be checking the comments here uh again i think i'm checking the right area because this is still my first time doing this uh but yeah i'm gonna check the comments so i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm not just talking to be talking i can actually uh talk with you guys as well um so again this is the uh the the part where i kind of started kind of developing an idea i guess so I wanted to embellish the area a little bit because I still didn't know what I was going to do, but I know I wanted to make the area a little bit better. So I added some more fog in the front to kind of darken up the scene, give the scene a little bit more mood. Um, and the way I just added the fog here was actually grab a, um, a cloud layer or a cloud stock image, basically, and take away the color from the image. I made it the image of black and white, and then I used um, the uh, screen... Um, the screen blending mode and that just gave me the white por portions of the of uh, the cloud then I blurred it out a little bit and that gave me a little bit of fog Whoop, lifted the guy up there uh, gave me a little bit of fog here so you can see it lo kinda looks like a cloud but it's it's just the white part of the cloud so that was adding the front fog there and I, I and here was something that I I don't know why I've added it I, I just think I wanted to do something that had light in there so in the final image, I had a lantern that was sitting out on the front of the boat. Uh, and this was kind of difficult because I had to find the right lantern image, and I had to make sure that the glow actually looked somewhat realistic. So let me see if I can deactivate all of this. So this was, this was something I don't know what that was because I don't know where it's affecting. <laughs> but that's the, that's the lantern layer, uh, that just the regular stock image of the lantern. Uh, and this was kind of a curves adjustment, kind of bringing some some color down. This was the actual glow. This was actually a um, a lens flare filter or a render lens flare that's in Photoshop. So that's how I use that one. And then I added warmth there with a photo filter, and then kind of added a glow on the water. And again, I don't know what this one does. Oh, there it is. 
uh, there was no way that it was connected to the boat, so I had to make like a little little string there. Uh, so trying to be as detailed as possible. Uh, probably could have, if I was smart enough, I would probably stole some of the the rope here and maybe put the the rope on this part to make it look like it's all the same thing. But I just put this little dinky string, which we all know that's going to fall off in the ocean if that was the case. Uh, so that was the lantern. And so here's where I kind of started getting my idea. So I kind of sat for a little bit. Again, this took me a long time to do. Uh, I kind of sat for a little bit, and I was like, why Why is this dude out in the, in the water? So I was like, well, you know, you got this land here. You got this thing over here. Maybe he's just drifting away from whatever whatever the land he was on, or maybe he's visiting something or just sailing away and just being free. I don't know. Uh, so I gave him a little suitcase. <laughs> thought, thought that'd be fun because it's you know it's a small suitcase you know he ain't gonna be able to fit anything in there um but this was just finding a suitcase image uh just like that and applying some curves to that one as well taking out a little bit of color actually giving giving a little bit of more warmth but taking out other colors with that hue saturation layer and then this was kind of like a shadow again the shadow is probably now that i'm looking at taking away these layers shadow is actually probably too harsh so i would probably back down the opacity like that um, but then I had to make sure I had to cut out the portion that was kind of in front because if I deactivate this, um, well, that's not the one, if I deactivate this one, you know, that's the, that's kind of the image that I started out with. It's, it, it look, it looks really bad cause it's sitting in front of the boat and him. So I had to take away all of that stuff to make it look like it's sitting behind him. So that was the suitcase layer. And let's see, we had an umbrella here. I don't know why I put an umbrella. I mean, I mean, at the end of the image, it's raining. So I figured that would be kind of a cool thing. Uh, I think I did the rain before, even though the rain is actually up here. Uh, I think I did the rain before uh, I put the umbrella there. So I had the idea for the umbrella. And I wanted it to be a, a nice pop of color, a nice bright, bright red to kind of give you something to look at because that's where your eye is probably immediately going to go is that red so it's going to show red but then the the bright red of the umbrella and the the darkness of the scene around them kind of plays into that a little bit a little bit of color theory i'm not a professor in color theory by the way but uh that's just kind of something that you kind of realize um so i did the umbrella i'm going to take away these uh we got this guy like a little fuzzy afro up here that's actually a uh, shadow that I painted on him on accident. Um, but then I had this umbrella. Uh, I couldn't find a real, a really good image of a red umbrella. So I had to make my own. So I got this black and, uh, black and white umbrella, this black and gray back here. And I gave it a different color. And then I had to mask out the, the pole here and then gave it a curves layer to kind of blend it in. Cause it was a little bit too saturated for the scene. It wouldn't be lit up that much in this air in this kind of scenario. So I gave it a little bit of a curves adjustments to darken that down a little bit. And I used this, the hue saturation as well to not only add more color, but take down the saturation of, of this too. So these two layers actually combined helped me get somewhat of a realistic looking umbrella back there. Um, make sure I'm just still doing the right thing. Make sure my stream is still going. Uh, so some of the last corrections I did, actually I'm going to turn on the rain here. I don't know why I did the rain before the corrections. That seems weird. Uh, but so I made this rain. This is this is not a stock image of rain. This was actually done completely in Photoshop. And uh, so basically, what I did was I created a noise. Uh, I haven't done this this uh, camera view yet. Let's do this one. Um, I created a noise layer, and uh, the way you, the way you can kind of make rain as a as a easy way of doing it in Photoshop. It's creating a noise layer, so you would go up here to, I might be able to do some of it. Didn't really mean for this to be a tutorial. Uh, but I can go up here to create a new layer, do black, and you go to filter, noise, uh, add noise, and that'll give you this weird looking noise stuff here. And let me see if I can make, sh I'm doing this, I don't remember honestly how I made the rain, it was a little bit of playing with it. Um, let me see, dude, let's do a motion blur, I think I did that one. Yeah, so you can kind of see that's the, that's the kind of effect that it gave. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I think I did screen. Let me take away my old rain there. So yeah, you can see that was actually worked out pretty good. Uh, so I did, I did the rain like this, but then I came back with another layer 
and kind of painted away some of the rain so I would pick, take a layer mask uh, and then get a black brush lower the opacity of the brush oh you can't even see what I'm doing that makes sense so there I would <laughs> I hope you guys saw what I was doing so basically I made this uh, this layer here uh, and I'm Applied the noise. I guess I should do that all over again because I messed up the camera angles. See, it's my first broadcast. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing. So I made a blank layer. <laughs> uh, I filled it with black. I went to filter. Uh, let's see. Where I was just there. Add noise. Added some noise that way. Uh, and then I did a motion blur. Went to blur, motion blur, and he kind of gave it like a sideways blur there. And then I use screen like that, and there was my my rain. And I did that actually a couple times. So I used a layer mask here to make sure it wasn't as even all the way across the image. I gave my opacity down a little bit, my flow down, and what I did was kind of take away. Let's say if I want, I don't I don't want to do this on this example, but let's say I wanted to take away rain from this area. I can kind of keep clicking, and that kind of lessens it a little bit. Same thing with here, just kind of clicking around. Just like that. So that's kind of how I made rain and made it look like it was in some some different areas. So I'll get rid of that one. Go back to my original rain layer, and I just made the the droplets a little bit bigger. I kind of played with the opacity and uh, played with the amount of the rain. So that was a way to do that there. I don't honestly know what this is. Oh, I made a cloud layer. There it is. Uh, so I, I took an image that had clouds on it that I really liked. Uh, let me see if I can disable. So yeah, it was this image with the city in the foreground here and the clouds up here. And I just basically, basically took away everything but the clouds. And I came up with this. And that kind of naturally blended in with the scene, uh, so it looked really good. So now here was, a, here was the part where I gave a little bit of color adjustments or color corrections to the image. So this was the color that I did. That was the final output where I want it to be a little bit more blue, a little bit more moody. So uh, let me actually take away all of these. So I added this. I don't know what that is, tell you the truth, because it's not doing anything. Maybe I just made it some blank layers. I think I just added two blank layers. Three blank layers. Four blank layers. There we go. Took a little bit for my computer to catch up. So I, um, yeah, added these here. God, I swore, swore that did something. Um, <laughs> so I added a, a photo filter to cool it down a little bit. Uh, curves filter to increase parts of the blacks, parts of the whites. Uh, I didn't use a levels because I actually wanted to play with it more. Uh, normally I go for the curves layer instead of a levels layer because with the curves layer I can mess with you know which part of the darks that I want to pay attention to that kind of thing. Same, way, same thing with the lights. So I did that. With the levels layer you don't get as much control. Uh, and then I kind of think I just painted in some some vignetting here and darkened up the clouds a little bit and that was pretty much that was pretty much my final image put my little logo down there at the bottom uh, but that was pretty much my final image so uh, overall I'm kind of happy I guess you don't need to see my my desktop anymore maybe I don't know there we go. So I was pretty happy with the final output, especially for being my first time. I kind of got that itch now where I want to try to do more. I want to try to to develop more like this. So I don't know the idea that I'm going to do because again, I didn't have an idea going into this one. Um, but uh, I kind of kind of came up with some some simple idea. I like those really awesome photos that you might see um, of. Um, really conceptual stuff and I'm gonna I know I talked about this dude I posted this on Instagram I'm gonna pull up his page uh, I posted this on Instagram let me go back to my desktop to I posted this picture on Instagram and I said it kinda came from the inspiration of watching or watching YouTube videos of this guy um, I think his name is James James something yeah this guy right here it kinda came from watching his videos but I also looked at his page and this is kind of the stuff this is kind of what I wanted to do um, with my idea I wanted to make it more of like a conceptual thing instead of it being more of a photo realism looking thing but uh, like one of my favorite ones of his is this image uh, it's pictures of waves but it, he said it kind of looked, reminded him of a mountain so he put two little hikers up there so I just thought that was 
kind of the idea. I saw that and I was like, well, that's that's fantastic. Um, you know, and he has all these ideas. Uh, let's see, I had another one. He said this was his most famous one, where he kind of put a subway station in the middle of nowhere. Um, let's see, another one. There's another one of my favorites on here somewhere. I don't know how, how far it went back. Like this one, he, he kind of went over a, sort of a behind-the-scenes video of it. It's a lighthouse, so if it's light, it's being lifted up, and it can be lifted up by balloons. I mean, it's just kind of it's just kind of like a play on words uh, sort of thing. I don't know how to get the heck out of here. Well, apparently Instagram doesn't want me to look at any more photos, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, it kind of came up with that idea. I want to do more of that kind of stuff, and uh, I think I'll eventually get there, but this was kind of my first... Um, my first idea that I had so I will just uh, I'll keep this one now and I eventually want to uh, no one's going to buy them it's kind of to to totally cool but I eventually want to sell stuff like this um, along with other other artworks that I'm, I make but uh, I haven't gotten to that point yet I kind of want to get more more work more um, more ideas down before I start doing anything like that so it's going to be a little bit but that was basically a walkthrough of uh, kind of a start to start to finish of this first photo composite so i've never really done one before and i was really happy with the out outcome of it so that was basically it that was my first broadcast <laughs> my first broadcast of uh of uh doing this sort of thing i don't know how many of these live things i'm going to do because this was this was kind of cool doing this because i actually got to figure this out but you got to have a really good idea i think and i'm not i don't I don't really do a lot of interviewing or anything like that, so uh, it'll have to be a lot of just me talking, uh, talking your ear off. So it's almost like a podcast in a way. I wish I could do a video podcast about this, and that would make a really good content. But um, but this is kind of a, a cool thing to do. I really like doing the live broadcast, and if I get another idea to do one, I'll I'll do another one. So uh, I think I'm going to end it here, uh, unless the two people watching. <laughs> Oh man, this is so fun. Uh, unless the two people watching have any questions, I'll probably uh, I'll probably call it quits in just a little bit. Uh, let me while that's being relayed over the airwaves, I'm gonna make sure all this stuff is still good. So. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. If I know how to end this, I think I'm going to end it. Um, this is the part of the, this is, this is the part of the live broadcast where I wish I could put one of those, uh, those like, um, technical difficulty messages because I'm trying to figure out where my screen is to end this. But anyway, oh, there it is. Okay. So, uh, thank you guys who have joined me live. This is going to be up on the, uh, YouTube page whenever it does its processing thing so uh, so if you have missed it you'll be able to watch it that way and well you don't know if you missed it because you haven't tuned in yet I'm, I'm an idiot so I will <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this and I will uh, talk to you guys later thank you for joining me in this live broadcast